good morning and welcome back to the allotment and the channel where I'm coming and getting rid of the last bits of the rats leftovers um, mildly frustrating but let's crack on so as you can see not much left of these <coughs> Oh, not into, but I'm not going to let them have any more of these. I'm going to take them away. In fact, I think we've got one here that may have survived. I'll say that. I think there might be one here, although it feels a little bit thin, that one. Yep, I'm going to get these cleared and then let's move on to some better news on the plot. There we go, and that's the last one. So when the rats return, the cupboard will be bare. So these, I'm not going to be composted, I'm going to burn these, um, anything to do with rats. Uh, so they're going to get burnt and I'm now going to go up and harvest some onions for the onion gravy today. On the way up I thought I'd show you, finally got the glass in. So what's going to be happening next, I'm going to finish the cladding on the inside of this. And then I'm going to get a pipe put through and get the fire installed in there just in time for the autumnal weather. Before we go over to the white onions, I'll just show you the red onions that I sowed from seed. And I'll be totally honest with you, um, they're not brilliant, but they certainly are nowhere near bolting like a lot of your heat treated um red onions are heat treated sex so i think this proves to me that it is true what they say the onions grown from seed particularly the red ones um pulled off in fact let's just see if we can pull this one out there we go, that's a nice red onion and I think this variety is called Red Flash. So overall that's been successful, in fact I'll take another one, let's go over here. This one looks half decent. Yeah, there you go, that's a nice red onion. Right, let's get across to the white onion bed. Now these are turning out to be absolutely cracking. Um, I'm really, really pleased. If you remember way back, right at the start, when I planted these out, um, they just fell over and looked as though they were on the way out. They were gonna kick the clogs. But as you can see here, let's get one. These have done really well. Just prize that up. The roots are certainly well down. There we go. 
Oh, that's a pretty specimen. Yeah, I'm really pleased with these overall. Elsa Craig's, oh, Bedfordshire champion. I can never remember one or the other. I've just popped into the greenhouse to finish off and get the rest of these lunchbox cucumbers um, harvested. And I need to do it now because as I said to you in the last video, I've got one more to put in, in this bed to replace it. And if I don't put it in now, it is certainly never gonna stand a chance. So, I'm gonna get this one out. Oops, it's all tangled in on the pepper there. Oh, it comes. There we go. I think there's one over here. A lot of root on there. Tiny little one hiding behind the rail there. So yeah, I'm gonna get this out now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh this bed, put some fresh compost in and get this little cucumber planted in. It might work, it might not, but it's certainly a shot to nothing. I freshen that up, some nice fresh compost. So let's get this baby in. I'll keep this moist. I'll feed the life out of it to try and get it to produce some cucumbers before the season's out. This pepper I put down here because early on in the season it had a little bit of, so it looked like disease. The um, leaves were sort of like crimpling up and I thought I better put it out of the way. I didn't want it to catch, um, spread any disease to the other plants. Um, anyway, I put it there and as I was watering the cucumbers, I've just left it, but I've come to move it now and it's rooted into the uh, soil. So I'm gonna leave that there to harvest um, and ripen. So there's a little harvest. I went and got myself a few more carrots um, and the onions. I've taken a few of these peppers off because they get caught in amongst themselves and it's good to release them, get the right ones off so the other ones can ripen. Got myself a few peppers, obviously the onions and a few of the last cucumbers. So Quite pleased with that, and there's my little box that my neighbour made for me, John. Yep, so I'm pleased with that today. So that brings us to the end of this week's video. Um, I'm rather jaded, to be fair, because it was my daughter's engagement party last night. Um, and let's just say it was rather hectic. Kids running around, sliding on the knees across the dance floor. Um, yeah, but really good night to be fair. So, um, getting down here this morning with a little bit of a, a little bit of a test, but I think I've achieved. Um, so as I say, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for all those people that have watched today and all the new subscribers and old. Um, as I say, it's all the usual thing. If you're watching this video and you want to see where we go, you know, it'd be great to subscribe if you can because a lot of people don't they watch the channel um, and don't like or subscribe. So if you're watching and you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. Until next week, have a fantastic week. Take care and happy growing.